PSVR 2 is finally compatible with PC, so here's how to get set up. Before we get into it, I just need to clarify that you can only use your PSVR 2 headset with Steam games. If you're hoping to launch titles on other launchers, unfortunately it won't work. And with that, let's jump into the minimum PC requirements you need to be able to use your PSVR 2 headset with your PC. On screen now are the minimum requirements your PC will need in order to use a PSVR 2 headset. Remember, these are the minimum requirements, not recommended requirements. So you may find you're having some performance issues, but these are just the bare minimum of what you need in order to even launch a game. Of course, different VR titles will have different requirements as well. So make sure you refer to the minimum requirements for each game individually if you're finding you're having some trouble. If you don't have these requirements, then unfortunately, your headset's just not going to work with your PC. Might be time for an upgrade. So let's get into setup. Before setting up the hardware, you'll need to set up the software, which includes the Steam app. To do this, open up Steam on your PC and search for PlayStation VR 2 app. Then install that, and then search for Steam VR app and install that too. Once both of them have finished installing, launch the PSVR 2 app from your library. And now let's move on to setting up the headset. So to use your PSVR 2 headset with a PC, you'll need the PSVR 2 adapter, which is sold separately by Sony. Although it did have some stock issues when it first came out, it's much easier to get a hold of them now. And it comes in at 50 quid. So to begin with, connect your PSVR 2 adapter to your PC through a USB port. Then connect it to your PC using a DisplayPort cable, which is sold separately. Then connect the AC wall adapter and plug that into a wall socket. Now your adapter is all hooked up to your PC, let's hook it up to your VR headset. So just connect the headset to your adapter using a USB-C cable and then turn on your headset and make sure you turn on the adapter which has a separate power button. After this you'll have to connect your controllers straight to your PC, they don't connect to the headset or the adapter so make sure your PC is Bluetooth enabled as stated in the minimum requirements I showed you guys earlier. If you don't have Bluetooth built into your PC you can buy a little Bluetooth adapter, that's what I did and it literally cost me £5 on Amazon so don't panic if you're not already Bluetooth enabled. Press and hold the PS and options button until you see the LED light flash on your controllers then navigate to the Bluetooth settings on your PC and set up a new device and then add the controllers as a Bluetooth device. Once they're connected the LED should stop flashing and that's how you know you're ready to go. After your adapter and headset are all hooked up and your controllers are connected just launch back into the PSVR 2 Steam app and follow all of the instructions on screen. You only have to do this full setup process once but obviously if you disconnect things and unplug things then you will have to plug them back in and reconnect them. Once you've followed all of the instructions on screen on the Steam app you should be ready to go and then you'll be able to play your full Steam library on your PSVR 2 headset. And there we have it. That's how to use your PSVR 2 headset with your PC, more specifically Steam. If this video has helped you out, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Mirror Gaming YouTube channel. This has been Jasmine and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.